The secret of getting smooth skin for a full body shot depends on the focus abortion gaussian blur radius you use. Let me explain that. So this is the image right here. I'm just going to duplicate this layer by pressing on Ctrl J and just come to my action right here and just click on frequency separation 16 bit because this image is 16 bit and I'm giving out this my action for free. I'll be leaving the link where you can download it in the description below. So like I said earlier, the secret of getting smooth skin depends on this Gaussian blur radius right here. So if I was to use the Gaussian blur radius of 8 for this image and just click on OK and I just pick my mixer brush tool and I just try to smoothen out the skin to make it smooth it's not going to give me the result I want because I'm using a high Gaussian blur radius and this is a full body shot I'm not just going to like the result I'm going to get it's not going to look really good so let me just quickly do that and show you so you can see and let me show you how you can actually get it right alright so if I just zoom in and just show the before and after so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after it's just as if we did not do anything on the image so you can never, you cannot really tell the difference the before and the after so i'm just going to delay this focus separation and just run another one 16 bits and this time i'm just going to use a blur radius of three percent so i'm going to click on three and let me just explain how this gaussian blur radius work so for gaussian blur radius if you want to retain texture on your image use a high blur radius while if you want your image to be smooth or you want less texture on your image, use a lower blur radius. So just look for the sweet spot that works for you. So basically, my rule is if I want to retouch a full body shot, I use a blur radius of about 3 to 5. And if I want to retouch an image from the waist upward, that's a portrait image, I use a frequency pressure blur radius of about 5 to 7. While if I want to retouch headshots, I use a frequency pressure blur radius of about 8 to 25. So that's my rule. So for this image, right, I'm going to be using 3 and just click on okay now if i just pick my mixer brush tool and for your mixer brush settings make sure clean brush after each stroke is selected my waist is on 30 my load is on 20 my mix is on 10 means it doesn't really matter my flow is on 30 while my sample all layer is selected because i'm brushing on this empty layer here which is this brush here layer so i'm just going to zoom in on the image and just hide my high frequency texture layer right here so once i hide it and just pick my mixer brush tool and just brush on the image right now this image is going to be smooth and at the same time i'm still going to have the texture i like on the image so let's just brush right now so you can see and if you are brushing just remember to brush your highlight separately brush your shadow separately and your mittens as well all right and also remember to increase and decrease your brush size according to the part of the image you are actually or currently working on all right okay we are done now let's see the before and after so just look at the skin of the image right now so this is the before and this is the after just look at it the before and the after the before and the after you can see the image is looking smooth and at the same time we still have the textures so like i said earlier the key right here is to just look for the focus separation gaussian blur radius that fits the kind of image you want to work on so that's the secret of actually getting a smooth skin for a full body shot like this you can use your show right here to watch how you can retouch headshot image from start to finish i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative